You are listening to Lowdown Hoedown with Brother Greg Martin here. And on the phone from Austin, Texas, is Tommy Shannon and Uncle John Turner. Hey, guys. Hey, we'll give you a hand up here in Bowling Green. <laughs> How y'all doing down there? Doing good down there. Well, I want to thank you again for taking time to call. And uh, this is your second appearance on the show. Yeah. Well, we did this about uh, a little over, well, it's been well over a year ago. And we had a blast. But uh, we got lots to talk about. But before we get into the Dallas Guitar Show, um, what have you guys been up to? Well, I, I've been working uh, quite a bit. Um, in fact, I only have a couple of days off the rest of this month. So, Tommy, uh, who have I'm you been? real busy. Who have you been out with, Tommy? Um, well, we got uh, some dates with Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Uh, Archangels, we played in uh, Tempe, Arizona. Uh, Double Trouble, we've had some gigs on our own. We're doing some recording. Um, I think we're going to do a song with Charlie Daniels, Hot Rod mm -hmm. Lincoln. Wow. That's an old song. Yeah, a real old song. You guys doing Hot Rod Lincoln? That should be very cool. Yeah, it should be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, John, and you uh, you played with uh, Jerry LaCroix the other night, right? Yeah, I played with Jerry. And other than that, I've, the main thing I've done lately is uh, went, been doing some studio work. Uh, trying to put together a record of uh, a bunch of uh, Fort Arthur, Beaumont, Blues guys. Wow. Yeah, it's called the uh, Interstate 10 Hurricane Blues so far, which is a song that I wrote. And a couple of songs about the hurricanes that recently struck us on the coast here. And then uh, most everything is something to do with that area. So that's the main thing I've done recently. And then the other night with Jerry was really a ball. I know. I want to actually uh, touch on how you guys know Jerry. Um, have you done any Cracker Jack gigs lately? No, no Cracker Jack gigs. And for those listening in tonight, Cracker Jack was a band you guys formed in the, the 70s. Bruce Bolin on vocals, who's also with the Nonprofit Profits uh, with us. But Tommy and Uncle John and Stevie Ray also played in the band for a bit. You, a little, little, you, got, you want to give a little history on the formation of Cracker Jack? Well, uh, uh, it was what me and Tommy tried to whip up. Uh, after we left Johnny Winter, I think we basically told you that before uh, mm -hmm. we uh, had several people uh, we started with uh, some people some of them have passed away now yeah. Actually, I don't want to bring up negative it's, it's, well we don't know if it's positive or negative until we get there anyway <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's right. some have moved on to the big band in the sky yeah and uh Stick around, man. We might need a guitar player. <laughs> oh, man. Always ready to come to Texas. And, you know, um, that's what, one of the things we're going to be talking about because we're going to be uh, getting together next week to play. Oh, that's going to be a ball. It's going to be a blast. Uh, Tommy, Uncle John, along with Bruce Bolin and myself, we get together and we're playing at the Dallas Guitar Show on the 22nd, Saturday, around 6 o'clock. And it's going to be a blast. Um we had fun last year. About that, we're gonna have more fun this year. Yeah, we right. sure did. It was fun, man. And um, profit, profits. The non-profit profit. So you need it. You know, I mean, some of you guys up here in Bowling Green, and of course, when you hear this on the internet, you come on down to the Dallas Guitar Show. It's at the uh, Dallas Market Square, Dallas. It's uh, April. Actually, the whole thing is April twenty-third, first through the twenty-third. Our our gig is on the twenty-second. And let's see who all is going to be there. Um, Buddy Whittington. You guys know Buddy Whittington that plays with John Mayall? No, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with him. Yeah, he's been with John Mayall probably for about, about eight years. Uh, guitarist Johnny A. Of course, Rick Derringer is going to be there. Y'all know Rick. Of oh, yeah. Y'all know Rick. Junior Brown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gary Hoy, George Lynch. Uh, but the main thing we're going to be down there. We're going to be down there doing our own little revival, the nonprofit profits. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, have mercy. We're going to have a good time. How's old Bruce doing? Bruce Bowling doing okay? That's our singer, by the way. Yeah. He, last I heard, I talked to him on the phone. He talked to him, Tom. I haven't talked to him lately. Yeah, it's been about a month that I talked to him. Three or four weeks. Yeah, he must be doing good or I would have heard something. <laughs> I get a, I get a brief email from Bruce every now and then. Of course, people could check in at uh, nonprofitprofits.com for a little uh, little info on what we we do. We get together uh, at the guitar show and just just play some blues. Sometimes we might go four chords, right, guys? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> every now and then. Oh gosh. Hey, is there any? Um, is there any? Uh, I know you know. I, I recently spoke to Johnny Winter. He called in. Uh, I didn't know if you guys had any plans because I've been playing a lot of Johnny Winter tonight. Stuff that you guys played on. I didn't know if there had been any plans. Y'all, y'all doing anything with him? A one off of any kind? Has there been any talk? I don't know, Greg. Uh, me and Tommy would. I think I say for both of us that we'd like to do another few songs in the studio like we did in 86. Before one of us die. Yeah, right. <laughs> or, or one gig or something. Uh, you know, he should... I'd like to see him actually. What would be great is if he could do... Uh, he could do a thing. He couldn't do it in one night, but a tribute to all of his bands. They're all friends of ours, and some of them have passed too, but it would be nice if he did about a a month or something, maybe one gig every week in New York or somewhere, and with all his different bands. But at the moment, I think me and Tommy are ready, willing, and able to do something with him. Yeah, the ball's in his court right now. When well, when I talk to Johnny, he speaks very fondly of you guys. I believe that was his favorite band. That was his favorite band. You you guys and him together. We did a lot of growing together. Oh, gosh. You know, I know we talked about this last time, but we've got different listeners up here now, and we'll have different listeners. Why don't we Why don't we go back to the formation of that band? And, you know, what? You know, last time we covered your roots and basically where you came from, but uh, tell everybody again how you guys come to know Johnny Winter and how... Y'all yeah, come to play with him and how how the first album come about and all that. Well, uh, I knew Johnny Winter in high school days uh, because I lived in Port Arthur and he lived in Beaumont. And that's only 17 miles, maybe 16, uh, between the towns. So all the young musicians knew each other because there weren't a lot of musicians. I moved up to... Uh, Dallas to go to college at North Texas from from Houston. I think I was in Houston. Didn't have anything to do. And I transferred up to North Texas. Put my name on a bulletin board at McCord's Music. And Tommy and these guys have a, a sort of a semi-manager. And they fixed... He, he contacted me because Tommy and them had been doing a tour West Texas surfer guy or something and he the drummer left and went home <laughs> they just wanted to stay in Dallas and give it a shot so uh, they called me and uh, I showed up at uh, an audition or rehearsal and then from that deal when me and Tommy made real close friends we had just like found a we found each other as kindred spirits where we had something going between us that the other guys, they're not excluding, but they weren't of the same temperament and of the same mind. And they weren't, me and Tommy just had a, uh, a platonic love affair because we were such, became such good buddies that we went through a whole lot of stuff together. And I sent for Tommy to come back on the deal. I sent for Tommy to come play with me and Johnny. Right. And this is... Yeah, pretty good. Absolutely. Well, strangely enough, I met Johnny uh, the same place I met Stevie. And this is a club in Dallas called The Fog. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, so you guys basically hooked up with Johnny. Were you doing blues like you... Did on the first LP, or did that is that something that evolved? No, first we were a copy band. 
Wow. What were some of the songs you were doing? 